Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Friend Shai Pierce, and welcome again to my channel. It is August 27th, 2024, 10.23 in the p.m. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, kind of late. Just want to get something out of the way. Ran into a few things I thought I'd throw it your way. Let's say it together. Praise God for whom our blessings flow. Remember I did a video uh, a few weeks ago when Trump was like, uh, you never have to vote again, Christians. Just get out there and vote. <laughs> Remember that? And I nailed him real hard. Like, you got some explaining to do. For those of you all who don't remember that, let's roll with this. In this election, most important election ever, we want a landslide that's too big to rig. If you want to save America, get your friends, get your family, get everyone you know, and vote. Vote early. Vote absentee, vote on election day. I don't care how, but you have to get out and vote. And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. Just get out and vote. <laughs> well, this is what I ran into by accident. 36 minutes ago, uh oh, now 37, Trump tries to correct record on his claim Christians won't need to vote again after 2024 election. And he's on CNN. Yeah, they call it the Cartoon Network. But check it out. He's explaining to the anchor what he really meant. So give a listen. You don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good you're not going to have to vote. You know why that was? He said, and with a smile, Christians, for whatever reason, don't vote very much, you know, proportionately. NRA people and people that feel very strongly about the Second Amendment, they're not voters. I don't know why. Maybe it's... Uh, rebellious streak and I said to the Christians we got to win this election if we win this election I'll straighten everything out in less than four years by a lot then you don't have to it doesn't matter in other words I'm saying you don't have to vote it doesn't mean we're not gonna have elections you're gonna have elections but you have to vote this time back now with CNN senior political commentator Scott Jennings and Adam Kinzinger Congressman Kinzinger I mean if someone was concerned before about the former president telling Christians, they'd never have to vote again if they voted for him on election day. Is this new explanation going to put their minds at ease? Oh, probably not. I mean, I, I thought that they were kind of picking up on Trump saying that was a bit of a... Uh, so, were you picking on Trump? And do you buy his response? I mean, it's plausible. But, you know, when you leave it open-ended like that, you got to expect some pushback and some questions. But my question is, this was a few weeks ago. Can you holler at the top of your lungs and say, why did it take him so long to ask that? The media is funny like that lately. Back when I was, in, well, I won't go there. But why did it take him so long? <laughs> I mean, we had a field day with this thing. Okay. Next subject. Remember this Kamala Harris promising to uh, debate Trump? Well, she gonna do that. But before she do that, her and her co-partner in Quine, not with a C, with a Q, Quine, Mr. Tim Walsh, they gonna get together with, again, CNN, the clown network, as they say. But anyway, check it out. There's been a lot of questions about when you're going to sit down for your first interview since being the nominee. If you have any other on that. Well, on August 8th, earlier this month, Kamala Harris said that she would, in fact, do a sit-down, in-depth interview, and she would do so by the end of this month by the end of August. And guess what? She actually made good on that promise because her first sit-down interview 
has been announced. In fact, it was announced uh, about 40 minutes before we went live today. So Kamala Harris will do a joint interview with her running mate, Tim Walls, on CNN this week on Thursday. It'll take place at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And Dana Bash will be the anchor who will conduct that interview. And guess what? It'll also mark the first time that Kamala Harris will do a sit-down interview uh, since Joe Biden dropped out of the presidential race on July 21st. Now, Kamala probably tried to stall. In so what do you think? You guys elated? What was that cartoon back in the day? It said, yippee, yippee, yahooey. Who, who is that? Should I look that up? Let me see. Because I know folks are excited about hearing Carmella. Who said yippee, yappy yahooey? Yippee, yappy yahooey. Cartoon from the animated series, Yippee, yappy yahooey, which ran from 1964. The show is about the three dogs who serve as the king's royal guards. There you go. Yeah. I wonder what politicians watch them on stage. <laughs> I digress. But yeah, I mean, are you elated with that yippee yappy yahooey that you heard that Carmella's going to finally speak? Or did you say something like, Archie Bunker would say, oh my God, <laughs> look, I'm in one of them moves. Do you really think, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, she owe us, and I've been making videos for a few months now saying that we're underserved. So I'm glad she out there. But you know, I had to put the five C's up on this one. I just had to, some told me to. And I'm glad I did. And I want to share that with you because the video is not going to be long, but I want, I want to show you what I think I see. Now, but before I do that, she said, let me see, let me get, let me get a time on this thing. Let's see. She actually made good on that promise because her first sit down interview has been announced. In fact, it was announced uh, about 40 minutes before we went live today. So Kamala Harris will do a joint interview with her running mate, Tim Walls, on CNN this week on Thursday. It'll take place at 9 p.m. So Thursday, that's two days from now. So check it out. 829 is Thursday of 2024. Skull and Bones anniversary date of them being founded is 11 18 of 2024. The difference is 81 days. Who's 81 years old? That'd be Joe Biden. Yippee. 829, the day of the debate of 2024. 11 20 is Joe Biden's birthday of 2024. What's the difference? 84 days, who was born August 4th? Barack Obama. Yappy. 829, interview, her and Tim on CNN, subtracted from 812 of 2024. What's the 812? Oh, that's the date that Donald Trump interviewed with Musk. I'm gonna say it again. Donald and Musk, Musk interviewed him on X, and that date was on August 12th. So if you take August 12th from August 29th, the day that Carmella and Tim go interview on CNN, we get two weeks and four days. Uh-oh. What's 2-4? The 24th letter of the alphabet is X. And I've been telling y'all, Trump gonna get X'd like he was a few weeks ago. Matter of fact, it was 7-13. Stay tuned, it's gonna be the false one though. Now check this out. Let's go here. Here's CNN. They came into existence on June 1st of 1980. June 1st. Now if you take June 1st of 1980, literally, when they, found, when they were founded, Subtracted from the day that Carmella and Tim go interview on CNN, the difference is 44 years, two months, and four weeks. Now that's deep. You know why? Because Barack Obama is the 44th president. And your 2-4 is X again. Do you think there's a story being told? I think it's pointing to something. 
I told y'all, there are going to be a lot of signs about Trump being X, but it's going to be the false Trump. They're just trying to rack y'all nerve and do the Prince thing. Let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. <sighs> what a world. It's all planned, baby. Just stay tuned. It's going to happen. Time stamp the video. Now, there's your receipts. August 4th, Barack Obama. That's his birthday. And then you got 829 of 2024. Kamala and Tim Walsh, they'll be on CNN. I hope they brush their teeth. Now, what's this? October 20th. That's Kamala's birthday. Yeah, she had a birthday. Her last birthday is in 2023. What's the difference between that? That's 45 weeks when you include the day in a day. Well, who's 45? Trump is the 45, 45th president of the United States. You think all these numbers are coincidence? You know, if I didn't tell you guys, I need to tell you once more. Numbers do speak. You know why they speak? Because the powers are utilizing a system that they did way back in the day, even during biblical times, to keep secrets. They talk amongst each other. And I believe they're doing the same thing now. And I just have a little bit able to, I'm able to decode it and, you know, iron it out and, Make some sense out of it. So is it coincidence that the day that they're interviewing on CNN versus Carmela's birthday is exactly 45, as in weeks? Nah. I think it's planned. I told y'all they're going to keep showing the Donald until they 